Jelly Bean Story Page, The Witch, The Ghosts, and The Halloween Party Once upon a spooky Halloween night, deep in the forest of Whimsy Woods, lived a witch named Willow. But Willow wasn't a scary witch at all, she was kind, loved to bake pumpkin pies, and her favorite hobby was knitting scarves for squirrels. She had two best friends, both ghosts, a gentle ghost named Glimmer, and a mischievous, prank-loving ghost named Boo. One day, Willow received an invitation in her mailbox. It was an invitation to the local school's Halloween party. Ooh hoo! Willow squealed in excitement, showing it to her ghostly pals. We've got to go! Glimmer floated in, all sparkles and smiles. A party? That sounds delightful, she said in her soft, shimmering voice. Glimmer loved anything that involved fun and laughter. Boo, on the other hand, grinned a big, toothy grin and rubbed his hands together. A party? Oh ho! I'm going to have so much fun. His mind was already swirling with ideas for pranks, ghostly ones, of course. Willow, Glimmer, and Boo got ready for the big event. Willow wore her favorite sparkly purple witch hat, Glimmer dusted herself with extra sparkles, and Boo, well, he grabbed a bag full of sneaky tricks. As they arrived at the school, the playground was buzzing with excitement. Children in costumes ran around, pumpkins glowed with flickering candles, and spooky music filled the air. The party had already started. Glimmer floated over to some kids who were playing games. She made the apples in the bobbing tank float gently up and down, making it easier for the littlest ones to grab them with their teeth. The kids giggled and clapped, loving her gentle magic. Willow was busy at the snack table, helping refill bowls of candy corn and serving her famous pumpkin pie. Make sure to try some, she told everyone with a grin. Meanwhile, Boo was up to his old tricks. He floated invisibly behind a group of kids and, whoosh, tied their shoelaces together without them noticing. Then, with a puff of ghostly wind, he made all the paper cups at the drink station fly into the air like a parade of marching ghosts. Boo, he shouted, cackling with glee. The kids squealed and laughed, some tripping over their tied laces while others tried to catch the flying cups. Boo snickered, pleased with his pranks, but never wanted to scare anyone too much. He was a good ghost, after all, just a bit of a jokester. At the center of the party, the big event was about to begin, the costume contest. Willow, Glimmer, and Boo gathered around with all the other guests. The principal, dressed as a giant pumpkin, stood on stage with a microphone. And now, for our first prize, he began, scanning the crowd. Suddenly, the microphone turned into a rubber chicken, quack, and the principal jumped in surprise. The whole crowd burst into laughter. Boo, everyone cheered, knowing exactly who was behind the prank. Even the principal couldn't help but chuckle. Glimmer, who was floating next to Boo, gave him a little nudge. You really love causing a stir, don't you? Boo just grinned. Hey, laughter is the best magic, right? When the contest winners were announced, a little girl dressed as a cat won the grand prize for her homemade costume. But before the party could end, Willow had a surprise of her own. She waved her wand, and suddenly, the sky above the playground lit up with hundreds of glowing, dancing stars. The crowd oohed and awed at the magical light show, and Boo, feeling inspired, added his own twist by making the stars zoom around like mischievous fireflies. Glimmer giggled and joined in, casting a gentle glow over everyone. As the night came to a close, the kids waved goodbye to Willow, Glimmer, and Boo. Best party ever, they shouted. Willow smiled, her heart full of warmth. I think we did pretty well, don't you? Absolutely said Glimmer. And I didn't even get in too much trouble. Boo added with a wink. And so, the three friends floated back to Whimsy Woods, full of laughter and memories of a Halloween night they'd never forget. 
the end.